In this video, I'll show you how to set up your PC Windows computer with your HP OfficeJet Pro 9125E. I'll show you how to connect them together, how to print, and also how to get the scan results from the printer directly on your PC. So let's get started right away. The first step is to connect your printer to your Wi-Fi network, the same that your PC is currently connected to. So to connect your printer to the Wi-Fi, all you have to do is, well, power it on and you're going to press on menu. Then go down the settings until you see settings. Click on this. Click on network. Then you're going to select Wi-Fi. It's the first option. Make sure the Wi-Fi is turned on. So that is blue. And then all we have to do is to click on Wi-Fi Setup Wizard. Press on the Start button. Then press Yes. Wait a few seconds. You're going to find a list of different Wi-Fi networks. Find yours and click on it. Click on the rectangle and now it's time to type the password. You can also have numbers and symbols. Then press OK. Submit. OK again, and now wait because the printer is connecting to your Wi-Fi network. It may take a few seconds, just be patient. You're going to get a green check mark when everything is done. Here we go. Connection successful. Press OK. Now on your PC computer, we're going to open the Windows Microsoft Store. OK, usually it's down below. It has this logo and this is where you're going to download the HP Smart App, the app that we need to connect. So go ahead and type HP Smart. It will search. And over here we have HP Smart. Download it and launch it when it's ready. Once the app is open, usually if it's the first time you um, open this app, and you didn't connect any printer in the past, let me just go over here, you're going to get this screen on the top, set up or add new printer. Click on add printer. If you didn't see this, don't worry, you can click on the left side, it's the same thing, there's a printer with a plus sign. Now we just have to wait, make sure that your PC computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer. And in this list, here we go, the printer will appear click on it. Here you're not obligated to click on accept all. This is just asking you if you want to share your printing data and other stuff so they improve their system, HP improve their system. I don't like that so I'll press decline optional data but hey you can share this if you prefer. Now they'll ask you to find the label located inside the cartridge access area of the printer and enter the pin code. Okay, so it should look like this. Let me show you how it looks on my printer so it's easier for you to find. Open the uh, front panel over here. And down below, you see this is the door I simply lowered. You're going to find pin with a number over here. You see 66459698. Use uh, your pin code, okay? Don't copy mine because it will not work if you're trying mine. 9, 8. Once you finish typing, go ahead and close the front panel on your printer and press submit. Next, they will try to sell you their subscription service that is HP Plus or HP Instant Ink. It's up to you if you want it or not, um, but at this point, I think it's better for you to get informed before taking a decision. So I will not accept it over here. I'll simply select do not activate HP Plus and they'll be very persistent okay they'll ask you many times if you absolutely want to um, pass this offer I'll again click decline HP Plus I'll press continue over here I'll select skip account activation then I will uncheck remind me two weeks before my three month trial of HP Instant Ink expire because I don't want to be reminded this do not enable ink delivery. They keep asking you again, you see, this is the fifth time I'll press skip offer. 
usually in life when somebody offers you five times the same thing and you keep refusing well it's usually not a good deal in general when somebody has to beg for you all right i'll get the green check mark and i'll press yes continue setup here they will ask you if you want to update automatically or notify when available, when there's an update available and you install it manually. I'll select this one, but it does not matter. You choose whatever you prefer. I'll press save. I'll press skip sending link. I'll press skip printing page. And here we go. The printer has now been added to your PC computer. You should see it on the top over here. If you do not see it, just give it a few moments and it should change with the image of your printer. If you're still not seeing it, click the arrows and usually it will be there with a green check mark. You're also going to see your ink levels. One important thing is that you absolutely need to be signed in into your HP account. HP account is different than the HP Plus that uh, was shown to you. An HP account is free to create, it takes two minutes. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, to have access to these things, you need to be logged in. And how do you log in? Well, you just go on the top left corner here, click, click sign in or create account and um, go ahead, connect yourself and we'll be back on the main page once this is done. Now that we are logged in, I'll click print document or print photo, depending what you want to print. So I'll click here, do not show this message again. Open the document on your PC that you wish to print. Now you just have to select your settings and at the end press the print button. Select print. And here we go. Very simple. Now let me show you how to scan. This printer has two different scanners. It has a basic flatbed scanner. If you want to put a document over here, you simply need okay, to put your document facing down with the top part of your page towards the left side. Then align this corner, the top left corner, with the top left corner of the printer. So simply bring, so both of them are touching there. Close the lid. Okay, so this is the flatbed scanner. If you want to use the top document feeder let's say you have multiple papers here simply uh, make sure they are aligned and this time place them facing up with the top part towards the left side glide them through these two plastic guides like that on your pc you're gonna select scan from here under source you're gonna select document feeder or scanner glass depending where you have put your documents you can also click two-sided in case you want to scan both sides of the paper and you're using the document feeder. This is a very useful feature. And then you have a few more settings here you can change depending what you're trying to scan. One important one is resolution. By default is 300 dpi, but you can select a lower resolution if you prefer um, the scanner scanning quicker. Then press scan and you just have to wait. If you have selected the top document feeder, the printer will take one by one each pages and will scan them. So let's come back when this is done. It will look like this on your computer. If you have multiple pages, you're going to see them on the left side. And you have the choice to print whatever you have scanned or to save them on your PC computer. If I click save, this will open. I can change the name of the file type anything you want and you can select which kind of file you want to be saved so if it's a document most people will simply choose PDF if it's a picture or maybe an artwork painting JPEG is what most people will choose at the end press save it will tell you what it will show you where you want to save it on your PC and this is about it thanks for watching I hope this was useful please leave a comment down below if it was Leave a like, subscribe and check my Amazon links if you need ink, paper or even a new printer. Every time you go through my links, I get a small commission from Amazon and it helps my channel. Have a nice day.